so this is the question pause the video and try to solve this question on your own this question belong to the coordinate geometry pause the video so let's try to solve this question this question is talking about a game of archery and the target board is given in the figure this is the target board which is divided into four different zones each zone is having different point if the arrow strikes in the center zone the player will get 30 point if the arrow strikes in this zone the player will get 20 point if the arrow strikes in this zone 10 point and if in this zone the player will get 5 point and this is the distribution of the various points the board is in the circular form and the targets are also in the circular form further it is also given if the arrow lands on the boundary the inner section points are awarded for example if the arrow lands on this boundary then the player will get 30 point the point of the inner zone similarly if the arrow lands on this boundary how much points the player will get the player will get 10 points points of the inner zone of the boundary got it this will be used in the question before taking down the questions let's understand this questions with respect to the coordinate geometry point of view here this is x axis and this is y axis and this concentric circles are at a distance of one unit apart that is the distance between all this concentric circle is one unit this is one two three four so all these boundaries lies on the point one two three four in the negative x it is minus one minus two minus three minus four similarly in the y direction plus y and minus y the distance between the concentric circles are one unit got it further it is given in the circular manner we can take this circle and we can say the radius of this circle is one unit if we talk about this circle we can say the radius of this circle is 2 units similarly for this circle the radius is 3 unit for the bigger one the radius is 4 units further point o is the origin of this coordinate system which we will mark as 0 comma 0 all the other points will be with respect to the origin point that is 0 comma 0 for example what will be this point this will be 1 comma 0 the x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 0 what will be this point this will be 0 comma 2 got it just the simple coordinate system we have applied this is a coordinate system with the 0 as the center of this board so based on this philosophy based on this coordinate plane we will solve this question so this is given part let's take down the first part of the question in the first part it is given after shooting two arrows rohan scored 25 point so after shooting two arrows Rohan is getting 25 point it means the first point may have landed at the 5 point zone and the second arrow may have landed on the 20 point zone or 20 or 5 in the reverse order anything just one arrow landed on the 5 and the second arrow landed on the 20 point zone these are the two zones further the question is asking write one set of coordinate for each arrow that landed on the target very simple just we have to tell the coordinate of the arrow firstly let's take the 20 point zone this is the 20 point zone for example arrow has landed at the center point this point is between 1 and 2 for example let's say it is 1.5 from 0 this distance is 1.5 and y coordinate it is 0 so we will say the x coordinate of this point is 1.5 unit and the y coordinate is 0 so its coordinate it will be 1.5 comma 0 just the example we have taken the arrow may have landed anywhere on this zone just we have to tell any of the one coordinate of this zone we have taken this coordinate just for the simplicity we have taken x as positive and y as 0 you can take the point here here in the negative zone anywhere you like just you have to tell the coordinate we have taken the coordinate as 1.5 comma 0 the first arrow let's assume the second arrow landed at the five point zone and specifically at this point at the center point of point three and four just for simplicity let's take this point as 3.5 units with respect to zero so its x coordinate it will be 3.5 and y coordinate it is zero so we got the coordinate of this point as 3.5 comma zero you can take anything 3.2 3.4 3.7 anything whatever you like but that coordinate should be in this zone so we have done with the part one let's move to part two in the second part it has been asked if one arrow lands at the point 2 comma 2.5 how many points will be awarded to that player 
Firstly, let's locate where is the point 2 comma 2.5. The x coordinate is 2 and the y coordinate is 2.5. If we draw a straight line, it is slightly confusing whether this point is in the 10 point zone or in the 5 point zone or on the boundary. By looking at the figure, we cannot exactly tell in which zone the arrow is landing. So basically, we have to calculate the distance with respect to the origin. If the distance is 3 or less than 3, then it is in the 10 point zone. The radius of this zone is 3 units. If the distance is 3 or less than 3, then we can say it is in the 10 point zone. If the distance is greater than 3 units, then we can say it is in the 5 point zone. Got it? Basically, we have to use a distance formula with respect to the origin and find the distance. Got the approach? Let's solve this question. Here the origin point it is 0, 0 and this point is 2, 2.5. Let's take any of the one point as x1, y1 and the other point as x2, y2. You can interchange the point, you can take anything as x1, x2, y1, y2, it does not matter. The solution will be same. The same we have discussed in the theory part. If you want to revise, you can check out the link for the complete playlist in the description. Moving further, let's put the value. On solving, we got the distance as root of 10.25. It means it is slightly above 3 units. 3 square, it is 9 and it is root of 10. It means it is above 3. If you use a calculator, it will be something around 3.2. But we will not go into that. We just got that this distance is slightly above 3 unit or more than 3 unit. So it lies in the 5 point zone. That is the answer. The player will get 5 points. We have done with the part 2. Let's move to part 3. In the part 3, it is given Rohan the player, Rohan shoot the arrow and the arrow landed on the point 1.2, 1.6. The x coordinate is 1.2, the y coordinate is 1.6, so the arrow strikes at this coordinate. Further, it is given Rohan will shoot the second arrow, and also a condition is given that is the second arrow to land on a line joining the origin and the first arrow such that he gets 10 points for it. Let's understand this statement. For that, let's join the origin with the point of the first arrow and also extend this line. The condition is that the second arrow should land on this line and also it should land in the 10 point zone. It means the second arrow should land on this portion of the line segment. If the arrow lands on the this portion of the line segment, that is the line segment joining the origin and the point of the first arrow and also the 10 point zone, then the condition is matching. So we have to find any of the coordinate on this portion of the line segment. Also, one thing that you should understand is that if the arrow strike on this boundary, then the point considered is 10 point. So this line extends up to the boundary. So we have to find the coordinate on this line segment, including the point on the boundary. So you can take any point on this line segment anywhere, starting from the boundary to the end point. For simplicity, we will find the point on the boundary, but you can take the point anywhere on this line segment. Let's denote this point as a comma b. Let's take the complete setup out of the figure just for simplicity. Here o is the origin which is 0 comma 0. This point is 1.2 comma 1.6 and this is a comma b. Let's mark the point as a, b and o. O is the center which is given. We have marked the point as a and b. Are you able to compare this figure with the figure of the section formula? This is the figure of the section formula. You can go to the description and download the complete list of formula and the concept list later to coordinate geometry. Check out the link in the description. Further, we can compare this with the section formula. Let's mark this point as x1, y1. This is x2, y2 and this is x, y. Here x, y it is given. x1, y1 it is also given. We have to find x2, y2. But before that, we should know m1 and m2. That is the distance OB and the distance AB. These two distance we should know. We can easily calculate the distance OB using the distance formula. And the distance between the point A and B, it is 1 unit. If you observe the main figure, the radius of this circle is 2 unit and the radius of this circle is 3 unit. And the distance between these two circles is 1 unit. So we can say the distance AB is 1 unit. Got it? Further, let's find the distance OB. 
that we can find using the distance formula right we can directly apply the distance formula you can assume any point as x1 y1 and any point as x2 y2 just for calculation of the distance let's put the value let's solve it on solving we got the distance as root of 4 that is 2 units we got ob 2 unit and ab as 1 unit further let's use the section formula to find the missing dimension firstly let's take the formula of the x coordinate here x coordinate here x it is 1.2 let's simply apply the formula we got the value of a as 1.8 which is the x coordinate of the point that we are finding in this question similarly let's go for the y coordinate this is the y coordinate of the section formula let's put the value on solving we got the value of b as 2.4 that is the y coordinate so we got the coordinate or the answer as 1.8 comma 2.4 this is the answer of this part got it simply we have used the section formula and we have also used the distance formula to solve this question rest it is all about your imagination how you imagine the question mathematics is not about the formulas mathematics is all about your imagination the formulas are very simple if you are able to imagine the question you can easily solve the question if you want to practice more questions go to the link in the description related to the coordinate geometry you will find questions related to the coordinate geometry got it we are taking slightly extra time to solve the question because we are also refreshing the concept refreshing the concept with the question is very much and it will be really really helpful to you okay so just pay some extra time it will be helpful in the bit of the examination let's move to the next part of the question it is given an arrow landed on the boundary and it worth 20 points it means the arrow has landed on this boundary on this boundary the point awarded is 20 points the coordinate of the landing point is given as m comma minus m and we have to find the coordinate of this point here x and y coordinate are basically same one is in the positive and one is in the negative m and m it is same plus m and minus m let's solve it we know the distance between this point and the origin it is 2 unit the radius of this circle is 2 unit any point on this circle it will be at a distance of 2 unit from the center so we know the distance we can apply the distance formula let's assume this point as x1 y1 and this point as x2 y2 let's apply the distance formula let's put the value we got root of 2 m square is equal to 2 let's square both side we got 2 m square is equal to 4 further we got m square is equal to 2 so we got the value of m as plus root 2 and minus root 2 we got two values of m let's find the coordinate let's put it into the, our coordinate which is m comma minus m so we got two answers first is root 2 comma minus root 2 and the second is minus root 2 comma root 2 so these are the two answers it means the point is in this quadrant and also in the this quadrant these two points are satisfying our condition so these two are the answer of this question got it we have done with this question so that's it for this lecture thank you very much for being with creator classes check out the description for various links to various resources if the content is helpful like subscribe and share this video thank you very much and best of luck